Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Goldfish Gladiators. So this week, we're trying something a little bit different. Arena is pushing hard for best of one to be their tournament format. Ranked mode is best of one. They're calling it Arena mode now, best of one matches. So while I have uh, some feelings about best of one, this is not the video to discuss my likes or dislikes about best of one as a competitive format. Instead, since this is what Wizards is pushing, we're going to give best of one a shot. Normally you do best of threes, but we're going to do a best of one tournament and we're going to play not just a best of one deck, but a budget friendly deck on Arena. This is Goblins, and you might remember this from an instant deck tech like a week ago. Well, on Arena, this deck is pretty budget friendly, especially if you forget the sideboard, which I am including in the deck tech because I know not all of you are going to play best of ones on Arena. Some of you might want to play this deck on FNM, Magic Online, best of threes on Arena. Uh, so I am including the sideboard, but we're not going to actually use it in our matches. But the upside to this deck is discounting the sideboard. There are zero mythics and 15 rares. So this is a very budget friendly option. So if you're relatively new ish to Arena, uh, you don't need a ton of wild cards to make this deck work so that's where we're playing budget goblins and best of one on arena so like usual we're gonna do a super quick two minute deck tech if you want a fuller breakdown of the deck check out the instant deck tech then we'll jump right into our games and see how the deck works so a quick reminder before we break down arena budget goblins if you enjoy this deck and you enjoy goldfish gladiators in general it would be amazing of you if you could take a second click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen it's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk some goblins, starting with one of our rares and one of our most important cards, Vanquisher's Banner. And this is a card that really powers our deck. It comes down, we name goblins, it pumps all of our goblins plus one plus one so they get in even more damage. Also makes it so we can draw a card whenever we cast a goblin. And our deck is literally 23 lands, four Vanquisher's Banner, and the entire rest of the deck, 33 cards, are all goblins. So once we get this down, there's a pretty good chance that we can just explode and cast goblin into goblin into goblin and one of the ways we can do this is with our mana producing goblin so goblin war chief makes all of our goblins cost one less also gives them all haste so in the late game once we get on vanquisher's banner we can have some incredibly explosive turns where we're playing a war chief drawing a card playing more goblins playing more goblins they all have haste smashing our opponent for a ton of damage skirk prospector can kind of do the same thing we can sack our goblins to make mana to cast more goblins and keep going we also have some kind of goblin removal spell. Since our deck has literally zero spells outside of Vanquisher's Banner, we need our removal to also be goblin based. So Veteran Volleyer, damage to a creature our opponent controls equal to the number of goblins we control. So it comes down, hopefully we have three or four goblins, five goblins shooting down a big creature. Siege Gang Commander can shoot down creatures, but it's kind of our finisher as well. With Skirk Prospector, we often go really wide with goblins, drawing all these cards with Vanquisher's Banner, sack a bunch of goblins to make a bunch of mana, and just throw goblins at our opponent's face to get in the last two, four, six points of damage and close out the game. Otherwise, we kind of just got a goblin curve. Fanatical Firebrand in the one drop slot. For two drops, we have Instigator putting two bodies on the battlefield. Wily Goblin for some ramping into our Siege Gang Commanders, into our Vanquisher's Banner. And then some of our most powerful goblins are in the three drop slot. Well, Goblin Chain Whirler is super strong, even more so, I think, in the best of one meta, which tends to heavily skew towards aggro decks. So, Chain comes down and just wipes out all the X1, gives us a good body, and then leads you War Boss, a goblin that makes even more goblins and pumps our goblin, a really good threat by itself. Mana base, just 23 mountains, and that is our arena budget goblins deck, and uh, that's what we're battling with today. So we're going to jump into a best of one quote unquote arena mode league and uh, see how this deck works. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll be back in a bit with a wrap up. Goldfish Gladiators time, and we are trying something slightly different this week. So, Magic Arena is starting their upgraded rank thing, rank 1.0, and 
rank only applies to best of one matches, which means all of a sudden best of one is even more important to playing on arena. So this week we are trying a best of one league. So we're going to see how this goes. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different than normal. No sideboards, going to be some quick matches, and we are playing a budget goblins deck. This is actually the goblins deck that we did the instant deck tech of like a week ago now, a little over a week ago. So we're going to give this a shot. It seems like, whoa, uh, Vanquisher's Manor Seizure. Uh, it seems like the kind of deck that could do pretty well in best of one. Something else to keep an eye on is Plaver's Draw. So we, we lost the die roll here in round number one. I've heard rumors uh, from people who play a lot of best of one that Plaver's Draw can can swing a matchup up to 20%, which is pretty insane. Uh, like 60-40 for the person that wins a die roll. So let's see if we can break serve at all and win any of the games where we actually lose the die roll and see how accurate those numbers seem to be. So anyway, Finagle Firebrand go. Looks like our opponent's draking, most likely. Uh, we don't have many ways of killing drakes. Tormenting voice for our opponent. There's a phoenix. Or really killing anything. Well, play the mountain. I guess fanatical firebrands theoretically can uh, can kill things. Get in with the firebrands. Pwn it down to 15. I mean, Legion Warboss, make a goblin, veteran volleyer, kill a drake. Seems like a reasonable plan. Wow. Okay. That's fine. Well, things have shifted in our favor... Lava Coil, your fanatical firebrand, is not really what you want to be doing in this matchup. Opponents missing their land drops. Well, I guess that's one way to break serve. Get in with our dorks. No sweepers. No sweepers. Please, no sweepers. Opponent finds a land. Oh, man. Play Enigma Drake and let us volley it. Beacon Bolt on the war boss. Hmm. We'll play the land... Go attacking. Hit our opponent. And this is sad, but we're going to run out our veteran volleyer. It doesn't kill anything, but it is a 4-2, and it does set us up for Vanquisher's Banner next turn. And Vanquisher's Banner gives us a nice card advantage. Assuming we just draw more goblets. All right, opponent kills the volleyer. Come on, goblets. Any goblins. Mountain. We'll play the mountain. Vanquisher's Banner. On goblin. Yup. Get in for four. Oh, man. Any goblin is good. And, and, and our deck is 100% goblins and vanquishers banner. So any non-land and non-vanquishers banner, I guess, is good in this scenario. We do not have many bad draws left. Oh, we're close. Opponent discards. Mountain. Passes. Oh, my God. Almighty. All right. Well, go attacking. That's That's not good. Land number eight out of 13. Opponent, blink of an eye. Bounces the token. I'll play the mountain past the turn. Oh no, not like this deck. Please, not like this. Island for our opponent. Crackling Drake. It's massive. Draws a card. Oh! Oh, magic gods! Oh, nine! We're a 23 land deck. We've drawn nine out of, out of 14 have been lands. And we're gonna lose. Wow. Well, this is unfortunate. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what we can really say about this. We don't have any burn spells, so it's not like we can jank our opponent out and we just... Another Crackling Drake. Well, we're going to need some insane luck here. Well, let's see what we draw. We're going to have to chain like Goblin into Goblin and an Electromancer. All right, we draw Chain Whirler. Well, play Chain Whirler draw a card so close and yet so far and that does it wow uh our deck uh kind of betrayed us and well we lost the die roll we lost the game we also drew a pretty insane number of lands really uh that number of lands is Oh, that should not happen too often. Not going to pull out the hypergeometric calculator. I don't think it's quite that unlucky, but it's pretty close. 
Uh, we lose the die roll. Well, this is a functional hand, although we did lose the die roll. Uh, well, maybe Drake's is just 100% of the meta. Skirt Prospector, goo. Oh, it's not Drake's. It's control of some kind. Search for his Kanta for our opponent. Well, this probably means, oh my goodness, more lands. Magic God, seriously. All right, Wily Goblin. Well, go attacking. Hit our opponent. As Kanta. Mills a land, draws a card. Island for our opponent. Pat. Oh my goodness. Well, maybe we just pretend like this is not a thing. Go to combat. Attack. Play a Chain Whirler, because why not? Opponent has the counter spell. Oh. Oh. It might be calculator time. The land thing is happening again. I'm not... I don't know what to say anymore, other than... Something is very wrong here. Opponent has a Nicole Bolas. Well... Thankfully, we've drawn a million lands, so we have a pretty easy discard. Hey, it's a mountain. Who who would have guessed that it would be another mountain? Uh, we're going to have to pull out the calculator, because this just keeps getting worse and more absurd. Well, Siege Gang Commander. Pass the turn. We're going wide. Opponent, yep. As Kanta. Discovery. Goes digging. Opponents not have any land problems, that's for sure. Yup. Uh, I don't know what we do. Opponent plays a tap land. Moment of craving. Well, I mean... Sack it to fizzle the life gain. But now we're just left with a million one ones and a million lands. And his Kanta flips next turn. Opponent. <laughs> Goblin War Chief, sure. Run it out there. Attack with everything. Unblocks Prospector. Blocks War Chief. Tags a bunch. Well, we'll play a mountain. Maybe this deck needs... I don't know. Better luck, I think, is number one. And opponent finds a Ritual of Sut. And I believe that's just game... Oh, this has been some pretty unfortunate running for goblins, I will say. Just uh, a really insane amount of lands being drawn. Down to 16. Land? Instigator. Um, alright, so play Instigator. I guess we won't scoop, but this game is... It's 100% over. Nicole Bolas flips his turn. Pass the turn. Iskanta. Transforms. Yeah, I mean, this is over. Nicole Bolas flips, and that does it. All right, well, now I got to pull up the calculator because I'm feeling pretty, I'm feeling pretty unlucky. 60 card deck, 23 lands. In game one, we drew 14 cards and we drew nine lands. Uh, odds of that happening, how often does that happen? Um, so we'll draw nine or more lands 2% of the time. So 2.5, so two out of every 100 games. And then in this game, we drew seven out of 13 lands. Uh, 7 out of 13 draws for lands, which will happen, well, a little more often, 16% of the time. But combine that together, and combine that with losing die rolls, and not a, not a good start for goblins. Oh, horrible luck. All right, well, let's give it another go. See if our luck will take a turn for the better. This might be the shortest goldfish gladiators ever. <laughs> Three games, in and out. Die roll? Do we win one? We do not. Sure. Foot keep. Swamp for our opponent. Passes. I'll play the mountain. Play fanatical firebrand. Go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent down to 19. Golgari Guildgate. Well, play the mountain. That's a, another land. Well, let's play instigator. Make a goblin. Go attacking. Pass the turn. Opponent. Druid of the Cowl. Well, that's going to slow us down for the moment. Woodland Cemetery. Now play the Mountain. Play Wily Goblin. 
Make some treasure. Pass the turn. Swamp for our opponent. And null hide Ferox. Alright. I mean, that's big, but it's just basically big. Opponent passes. Now play the mountain. Play Siege Gang. We could really use a Vanquisher's Banner. That would be our best draw, I think. Vanquisher's Banner. Next turn, we might be able to start attacking. Opponent can't be playing too many spells because, I mean, they're playing Ferox. Druid of the Cowl. Okay. And... Passing. Pitiless Gorgon. Alright, it's got Death Touch. Skirk Prospector. Still not sure we can really attack. Let's play the Mountain. Play a Prospector. Play an instigator. Um, no attacks. Pass the turn. Come on, Vanquisher's Banner. It would be so incredibly helpful. I guess we probably just start throwing one ones at our opponent. That's probably our most <laughs> legitimate path to victory at this point is just slowly siege ganging our opponent hopefully they don't have any surprise sweepers in their no hide ferox deck that would be less than good opponent they get it over i wonder if this deck should just have main deck main fire four five six seven eight nine ten eleven all right twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen Hmm. Three blockers. Now I guess we just... Let's untap. Play Fanatical Firebrand. Go to combat. Attack. With everything but Siege Gang and Prospector. Opponent blocks. 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 So we will... Throw a firebrand at our opponent's face. Throw a wily goblin at our opponent's face. Hit our opponent for a bunch. Seven. All right. Pass the turn. Okay, Ferox. Do they really have a sweeper? Murder on Siege Gang Commander. Hmm. Okay. Opponent passes. We draw a mountain, so play the mountain. Play Siege Gang Commander. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so we should be able to just win here. So we. I mean, I guess we can attack first. That probably makes it easier. Go to combat. Attack. So attack with everything. And now we just throw goblins at our opponent. Opponent blocks, 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 blocks. Okay. So we pay a mana, sack a goblin. Sack a goblin to siege gang commander. Sack a goblin. Sack a goblin. 
Psychic Goblin to Seed Gang. Pony down to three. Okay. And now we hit our opponent for one. Down to two. And now we get to finish them off. Sack of Goblin. Well, the deck has some sweet reach. This was a pretty good way to win through a big board. And more excitingly, we just want a game on the draw. We want a game on the draw. We have not won a die roll yet. Well, that is more of what we're imagining with goblins. Is, is games more like that? That is kind of in the goblin wheelhouse, I think. So that's more like it. That's more of what we're looking for. And, uh... In theory, die rolls should be equal eventually. So in theory, uh, we will we will win some die rolls sooner or later. We're up against Alexi. All right. Hey, we won a die roll. Oh, all right. Four lands. Always feels like we got a lot of lands. I wonder if we should be trying to game the the system more. We're playing 23 lands. I wonder if in best of one, we should be playing a lower number. Hmm. Well, get in with Prospector. Hit our opponent. Pass the turn. Island. Ooh, search for his Kanta. Okay. Well, let's just Goblin War Chief. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. Draw another land, unfortunately. But opponent, y'all, search for his Kanta. Mills a land, draws a card. This could still be Drakes, or like a more controlling build of Drakes. Ooh, Sacred Foundry untapped. Ugh, Deafening Clarion. That's a good one. That is a good one. Please not more lands. War Chief. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, we would have had such a good turn. Well, that's just Legion War Boss. Mega 1-1. One, one. Go attacking. Opponent down to 13. Uh, this feels like a deck that really needs to draw Vanquisher's Banner for these long games. Mills a Chemist's Insight. It feels like without, without drawing Vanquisher's Banner... We have a weird tendency to flood out. Land for our opponent. Passes. Good god. Well, that's more lands. Play War Chief. Yeah, we make a goblin. We attack with everything. Opponent does not have double white for settle here. Seal away. Gonna hit the war boss. All right, so we get in for five. Opponent down to eight. Can we find a way to close out this game? Is Kanta doing his Kanta things? Mills a syncopate. What do you got, opponent? What do you got? Land. Still not more white mana. What four cards in hand for our opponent? Four. Oh, could be close. Could be close. They might be thinking about it to fairy. The clock's running. What do you got, opponent? My guess is they have Teferi in hand, and they're trying to figure out if they should play it, and if they do play it, what they're going to do with it. There's the Teferi. What do they do with Teferi? If they tuck War Chief, they just lose Teferi. Wow, they took a token. Well, we get to four, five, six. Do we win? I think we win. Wily Goblin. Veteran Volier. Opponent today, and that is lethal. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that does it. That does it. That does it. There's some of the power of goblins, the surprise damage, and. Okay, little mini win streak. Little mini win streak. Two in a row after a really rough, floody start. All right, all right. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere with the goblets. Die roll? Uh-oh. I think that means we lost. Yup, we did lose the die roll. Well, we got a Vanquisher's Banner. 
That's something. And we can ramp into it with Wily Goblin. Uh, we are not good at winning die rolls, though. That's for... Oh, another Vanquisher's Banner. Well, if we live and they're not blowing up a Druid of the Cowl... Well, this is going to be interesting. Play a land, play a Wily Goblin. In theory, we're going to draw a lot of cards here if these Vanquisher's Banners stick. It would be nice to draw something that we can play this turn instead of waiting. Little worried about Planeswalkers blowing up our Vanquisher's Banner. That would make us sad. Opponent. Getting in for one. All right, we'll take it. No blocks. Oh, boy. So many lands. No attack. Opponent. I mean, they're up to six mana if they have a land drop, which is already Carnage Tyrant range. Opponent. Attacks. No blocks. Down to 17. Passes. Hmm. Well, play the land. Go to combat. Let's attack. Hit our opponent. And I think we're just going to Siege Gang Commander. Siege Gang Commander first. And then next turn, we can play our Vanquisher's Banner. We give up potential card draw, but we gain a lot of potential damage. Also, it doesn't get us blown out by... All right. Chupacabra. Yep. Sure. We will triple block Druid if they attack. Um, We're not going to block that. I'll play the Mountain. Play Vanquisher's Banner. On Goblin. Uh, yeah, let's go attacking. Opponent blocks. Takes four. Or six. They did not block with Druid. Okay. Worried about the gut shot. All right. They do have a Vivian Reed. So they can blow up our Vanquisher's Banner. Unfortunately for our opponent, we have a million Vanquisher's Banners. Opponent passes. Uh, play Vanquisher's Banner on Goblin. Play a land. Attack Vivian. Attack Vivian. Attack our opponent. Opponent blocks. Wow. Let's Vivian go. All right. All right. Well, what do you got about it? Please no more destroying of our Vanquisher's Banners. Woodland Cemetery. Carnage Tyrant. Okay. That's okay. I'll play a Siege Gang Commander. Draw a card. Make some goblins. Play a land. Attack with everything. Opponent blocks. And now we'll just throw that goblin at our opponent's face. Down to 11. All right, opponent, you need something good. The goblins are coming. Please, no sweeper. No sweeper. We have kind of ran out our entire hand if they have a sweeper here. And they would get to save all their stuff if they have fine finality. All right, cast down. That's okay. That we can deal with. Oh, my God. Just kidding. Oh, they just had all the removal spells. Okay. Well, here comes Carnage Tyrant. We draw more lands. Well, play Veteran Volier. Draw another land. Boy, this is some rough running. Play a mountain. Pass the turn. Oh, we are just so good at drawing an insane amount of land. Swap for our opponent. They have Veraska's Contempt. So we need to draw a Goblin, and we don't need to just draw a Goblin. We need to chain together Goblins, or we're dead to Carnage Shiret. War Chief. Hmm. I don't think we can play Vanquisher's Banner first. Yeah, play War Chief. We gotta draw a Goblin into Goblin, into Goblin. All right. Veteran Volier. <gasps> oh, we're going to steal the win. We're going to steal the win. War boss. Oh, the goblin combo. 
play a mountain, make a goblin, attack with everything. Whoo! Jake him out! Jake him out! That's exactly what we needed. Whoo! The explosive power of goblins. Yikes! Yikes! That was good! That was... Oh, man, I thought we were so dead. We survived a sweeper. I think that match shows the importance of having Vanquisher's Banner to this deck. I think that is really the most important card. Uh, to the point where maybe we should try to find a backup, like uh, maybe Risk Factor, Flame of the Cow, like something to give us an additional source of card advantage could be helpful because that seems to be really, really, really key to our deck. Hmm. Hmm. That was sweet, though. That was that was goblins doing their thing. And uh, we're up to a winning record, up to three wins. After starting 0-2, goblins kind of wheeling off some wins. Yeah, all right. Sweet. All right. Let's see if we can keep the goblin win streak alive. <sighs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, let's win a die roll. Let's win a die roll. Please. <laughs> We're one out of five for die rolls. Ah! Oh, one out of six. All right. I mean, we'll keep this hand. It's a fine hand. A little disappointed we never win the die roll, though, I will say. Seems even more important in this aggro mirror. Well, mount and go. Opponent. Uh, all right. So... This hand is seems reasonable against our opponent's deck. Although it gets a lot worse if we play this instig wow. If we play this instigator and then immediately get Chain World would be annoying. So play instigator. Pass the turn. Opponent draws. Come on, no chain whirler. No whirlers. Steamkin. Oh boy. Oh, we are set up for the dream. Uh, okay, so... Hmm. Yeah, let's just go to combat. Attack. I think we attack first. I'm guessing our opponent no blocks. And then we get two damage. If we play Chain Whirler first, then they just kill... Kill one of our creatures with... Firebrand. So go attacking. All right. Well, I guess we should have Chain World first. So opponent can block sack, kill our token. I mean, we're in pretty excellent shape, though. Chain Whirler takes here a Steamkin, and then we have Veteran Volier for the next threat. Okay, yep. Kills the token. I'll play the Mountain, Chain Whirler. Get rid of the steam kid. Lava runner. That's fine. And wizard's lightning. Hmm. I'll play the mountain. Yeah, let's just veteran volleyer. Kill lava runner. Get in with instigator. If we draw a land, we get to just get down Vanquisher's Banner next turn. If we don't draw a land, probably just War Chief, I guess. With our opponent on two mana, though, and uh, having some land problems, I feel like we're in pretty good shape. We're ahead on board, and we're not that far behind on cards either. <clears throat> and we're winning the damage race, so we're kind of doing well in all aspects of this game. Not sure why our opponent has a timeout, and we do not. Especially since our opponent's been playing a lot slower than us, but... Eh, eh, doesn't matter. Opponent. Alright, finds our mountain. I guess a Chain Whirler would shut down our offense. Alright, Vashino Pyromancer. Hits us to 17. Hey, let's see what we draw. Alright, Shotgun Veteran Volier. Well, we draw the mountain, so, well, we're just going to play Vanquisher's Banner on Goblin. And let's not attack. I feel like we're far enough ahead that we don't want to 
get janked out by burn spells. That's my biggest fear here. With Vanquisher's Banner out, we're going to have some explosive turns, and they should not have a main deck answer for it. All right, opponent shocks instigator. That's fine. We take two. Down to 15. Eh, this might be a good turn. So, play Goblin Warchief. Draw a card. Play a land. Play Legion Warboss. Draw a card. Ooh, Prospector 2. Eh, play Fanatical Firebrand. Draw a card. Um, go to combat, make a goblin, big attack, we're still going to play slightly conservatively, I mean we get in for 9, leave back the firebrand, and odds of winning next turn, pretty high, what do you got opponent? And we can just firebrand this if we need to. Or block and ping our opponent. Uh, when we have a Vanquisher's Banner out, things go pretty well. And maybe the play draw thing is not as is not as important. Like We haven't been winning die rolls and we still have a winning record, so maybe Maybe the, the die roll is overrated. Obviously this is a I would still be surprised if that was true, but it's an extremely small sample size. But we have been doing well, despite doing really poorly on die rolls. Opponent. Scoops it up. They see the end in sight, and the goblins? They're doing it. Uh, this has been a pretty miraculous recovery for the goblins. We started off 0-2, and now we've reeled off four in a row. Wow. Watch us end up with seven wins anyway. I think we've already got our got our money back. Like, when you play these Quick Constructeds, I'm pretty sure four wins is where you want to be. If you go four and three, you get your entry fee back and you get the reward cards. So it's as simple as that, really, as far as grinding out a collection. Like, this is still a fine performance. Come on. Die roll. One time. Oh, my God. All right. Well, <laughs> we'll keep it. We're the... Just like Commander Clash. I, I just can't win a die roll to save my life. This is match seven, and we've won one. <laughs> Worst coin flipper. This hand is fine, though. I mean, we got a solid goblin curve. We don't have a Vanquisher's Banner, but... Yeah, we'll keep it. All right, opponent, what are you up to? All right. Mono Red again. I'll play the Mountain. Play Firebrand. get it opponent down to 19 well our main concern here is our deck does oh it's boros well chain whirler should be less of a concern play the mountain huh attacks or blocks each combat if able and it's Vigilant? Eh, let's just Wily Goblin. This is our highest upside line if we happen to find a Vanquisher's Banner. Mountain. Sarkin. Interesting. Loots with Sarkin. Well, there's probably some big dragons coming, and we don't have a... A great way of dealing with big dragons. Ponet gets in with a Relentless Raptor. No blocks. Yep. Down to 17. I'll play a Mountain. Let's play Goblin Instigator. Play Skirk Prospector. No attacks. Uh, we might have to do the whole put everything in front of Relentless Raptor line. Planes for our opponent. The Sarkin is definitely worrying me. Who knows what huge dragon could appear out of nowhere. True Fire Captain. That's some spice. 
Alright, loot's with Sarkin. Well, we are gonna have to send everything in front of this Relentless Raptor, or three things. Ponet. Attacks. So... Uh, block, block, block. Oops, block, block. Stop dancing. <laughs> block, block. Why are you moving so much? Uh, Alright, block, block, block. Kill Relentless Raptor. Yup. We draw a mountain. I'll play the mountain. Uh, play Legion War Boss. Yeah. Go to combat, make a goblin. Attack Sarkid. Sack the goblin. And, huh. Yeah, I guess we'll run out another Wily Goblin. We do have to get a damage sooner or later. Pass the turn. The Sarkin will eventually ultimate if we don't damage it. We're definitely exposed to a sweeper. Lose with Sarkin. Oh, does not loot. Oh boy. Just ticks up. That means our hand is what they want. Heroic reinforcements. Okay. Attacks, attacks. Um. Let's block. Block, block. And then ping this token. Untap. Chain Whirler. Huh. So I think we play Legion War Boss. Go to combat, make a couple tokens. Attack Sarkin, attack Sarkin, attack Sarkin. Mentor. Yeah, opponent blocks. We take a couple damage. Yep. But now we get to sack a token. Chain Whirler. Sweep the board. And all right. I mean, pass the turn. Pass the turn. We got through to the Sark in a bit. We could still really use Vanquisher's Banner. That's still the card we want to draw the most here. A sweeper is still incredibly devastating. Opponent, Sarkin. Still not looting, just ticking up. Plays a mountain. Passes. Hmm. Uh, they could have settle. Go to combat, make a dork. Attack Sarkin, attack Sarkin, attack Sarkin. Or should we be attacking our opponent? Should we even be worrying about Settle? They have to... They're not discarding. It's gotta be Starve Extinction or Settle in hand. At least one of the two. Um... Yeah, kill Sarkin. Attempt to. Alright, there's the Settle. Sarkin survives, unfortunately. Well, we get some lands out of our deck. This does increase our chances of drawing good cards. Pass the turn. Sky Terror. Okay. And Raptor, Rap, Raptor Hatchling. All right. 
All right, all right. So we got our opponent out of cards. They take up Sarkin. Opponent passes. Oh, my God, more mountains. Um... Oh, play War Boss. Go to combat. Make some goblins. Hmm. Attack, attack, attack. Mentor. Opponent blocks and blocks. Unblocks. Blocks. All right. So opponent gets a 3-3. Three, three. Stuff dies. Yep. We pass the turn. Sark gets down to two temporarily. Oh, come on. Good draw. We really need, we really need a good draw here. Opponent. Discards a land. Draws a new card. The power of Sarkin. Oh dear! That is that is the power of Sarkin, and we're kind of getting janked out. But I, uh, I think we're we're in trouble. We are in trouble. Yikes! Oh, now well, Vanquisher's banner on Goblin. Go to combat. Attack. Actually, we probably gotta kill Sarkin. Attack Sarkin. Attack Sarkin. Attack Sarkin. Mentor. Opponent blocks War Boss. Well, we get rid of Sarkin. Play the mountain. All right, deck. Give us goblins. We got lands out of our deck with this settle. Goblins. We need goblins. That's what we need. Chain them together. Steal this game. This Aurelia gets to hit us for four a turn, which is a pretty fast clock, and it has vigilance. Opponent gets in. Oh, come on. Not a land. Not a land. Just goblins. You can do it, deck. Down to ten. Oh, God almighty. Well, go to combat. Attack, attack. Wow, another land. That is not good timing. Not even a little. We are in trouble. Yeah, opponent blocks. Land go. All right, deck. <laughs> not like this. We got the banner. We did the hard part. Oh, hasty legionnaire. Well, now we're dead in two turns. We need this turn to be legitimately great we got mana we need goblins we need to not draw lands oh we could be dead i guess if they have a lightning strike down to three well that's goblin number one war chief draws us a card we got to chain them together fanatical firebrand draw a card Legion War Boss. Keep going. Okay. Prospector. Instigator. Um. Sack a token. War Chief. Sack. Oh my goodness, this turn. Sack a instigator. Instigator. All right. Well, combat. Goblin. Attack with everything and oh my goodness i think we stole this game i think the goblins came through attack with everything yeah counter on whatever what's our opponent got what's our opponent got response i don't think that does it i don't think that does it i don't think that does it 
This has got to be 15, right? Please? 11 attackers? It's got to be. It's got to be. Oh! Whoa! Goblins! Goblins coming through! Huh! Huh! Wow! Wow! Well, admittedly, we got a smidge lucky to hit that chain of goblins, but... That is also what our deck is trying to do. And we did draw a land the turn before, and the settle got some lands out of our deck. So, yes, we were definitely lucky, but... Yeah, you kind of make your own luck to some extent. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a game. What a game. I thought we were dead for sure. Oh, man. Our streak of not winning die rolls. <laughs> Still going. Still going. What are we on match? We're five and two right now, and so we're on match eight, and we've won one die roll. Overgrown two. Well, Mountain Prospector. Opponent. Woodland Cemetery. Branch Walker, okay. Explorers. Land, okay. Hmm. I guess we just prospect or go. I was wondering if we should be, like, sacking stuff to play something, but it's so risky with a removal spell. Guildgate. Branch Walker. Uh, land again? Land again? Uh, uh. All right, let's draw a land for this, <laughs> this Chain Whirler. Opponent gets in, no blocks. All right, that's a mountain. So play the mountain. Play Chain Whirler. Get rid of the Branch Walkers. Go attacking. Pass the turn. Forest for our opponent. Chupacabra. Yup. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. We draw a mountain. Well, play the mountain. Yeah, let's cash in a Prospector. Little worried about Vivian Reed, but cash in the Prospector, Vanquisher's Banner on Goblin. All right, no Planeswalkers to ruin our fun, and next turn should be pretty good. Podet. Okay, yeah, uh, no blocks, we'll take it. Down to 16. Just a Jade Light. That's fine. We are okay with that. We just want to untap with this Vanquisher's Banner. Ugh. Wild Growth Walker. That will be an annoyance in the future. Oh, they mill it. All right. Midnight Reaper. Mills that as well. Interesting. And a Land of War. Okay. Well, let's... Goblin War Chief. Draw a card. Play a mountain. Play Legion War Boss. Draw a card. Combat. Attack, attack, attack. Yup. Counter on the dork. Opponent. Ooh, blocks the War Chief. Interesting. Okay. I was wondering if they go War Boss or. Or War Chief. Opponent, untap land. Vraska, Relic Seeker. So we can kill Vanquisher's Banner, but then we kill Vraska. Yup. Opponent kills it. Gets a treasure. Passes. Hmm. Well, play Vanquisher's Banner. Number two. On Goblin. Go to combat. Make a goblin. Attack for Asuka. Attack for Asuka. Attack our opponent. Mentor. They shouldn't have a one mana way to ruin our day. All right. For Asuka down, opponent jumps. All right. Um, pass the turn. Does our opponent have another way to kill our Vanquisher's batter? Detection Tower. That's fine. <laughs> gotta, 
Gotta stop those garbage tyrants somehow. Opponent really needs a sweeper. Ooh. Manually tapping. What does this mean? Six mana. All right, finality sweeps the board. This is okay. This is okay. Opponent passes. Um, so we will siege game commander draw a card. And pass the turn. Good way to rebuild after a sweeper. What did our opponent want to leave mana up for? Assassin's Trophy? Seems like you just trophy Vanquisher's Banner. Huh. That's confusing. Opponent. Cast down on Siege Game Commander. Yup. And scoops it up! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And we are a win away. A win away. <laughs> a win away from Maxing. A win away from from maxing out we're up to six wins we started zero and two and we've won six in a row and in our eight games we've won one die roll in best one and we're still we're doing it i guess this deck is pretty good die roll i don't even know why i ask anymore you know we're losing it <laughs> yup we lose it well this is a fine hand we'll keep one more goblins one more one more forest for our opponent passes I'll play the forest, play Firebrand. Get in for one. Opponent. Not an ID. Alright, over on Tomb tapped. Uh, more lands. We'll play the land, play Goblin Instigator. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. Pass the turd. Woodland Cemetery. Passes. I'll play the land. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent down to 16. Chain Whirler. Opponent down to 14. Oh, come on. No surprise Ritualist. Uh, swamp. Passes. I'll go to combat. Attack. Okay, Veroska's Contempt on Chain Whirler. Well, I mean, play Chain Whirler. P opponent down to 12. Land Prospector. All right, pass the turn. Pass the turn. Got to close it out before they get to find finality. Jade Light. Explores. Yup. Seeker Squire. Mills it. Hits a land. Uh-huh. And Branch Walker Explores. Hits a land. Okay. Passes. Oh, more lands. Well, go to combat. Attack. Yup. Everything but Firebrand. Opponent blocks. And blocks. Okay, blocks and blocks. Well. Kill Jade Light. Ugh. Our flood out might be a problem. Opponent down to 10. Play a land. Oh, what do they got? What do they got? We've drawn all lands. Opponent. They have the fine finality. Sweeps the board. Oh no. Another mountain. Oh, uh, it looks like our, our luck has run out. Doom Whisper. And a land. And a land of war. Oh no. Alright. Well, we're back. We've come full circle. This is exactly how we lost round one. We've drawn nine lands out of 14 cards. Which, remember, when we pulled up the hypergeometric calculator, that should happen uh, two out of every hundred games. So, to have that happen, to have that happen uh, twice out of seven, we're running way above average on, uh, on the epic flood out games. Well, 
for how horrible this started, and considering our only two losses are games that should not happen nearly as frequently as they are. Uh, I mean, obviously, small sample size. We hit our two out of 100. We, next 100, we won't have any of these games. Uh, so I'm not saying there's something wrong with the shuffle or any of that baloney. Uh, but, I mean, that's been, that's been the only way we've lost. And that's considering we have been playing at a huge disadvantage of losing every die roll. All right. And that does it. So, well... Uh, we finished with six wins. We did not quite get seven with Budget Goblins. We finished with six. And, well, I mean, it's tough to talk about in the wrap-up, but the deck is pretty legit. We had a lot of stuff go wrong, and we were still able to easily six wins. So, uh, deck seems like a pretty good one if you want to grind best of ones. Reward cards... Uh, okay, I think I probably needed a Bishop of Rebirth, so that goes in the collection. Otherwise, some dust, but... Alright, alright, alright. Well, that's our Goldfish Gladiators for this week. And we'll talk about it in the wrap-up. Kind of a, a roller coaster of emotions, and maybe that's just best of one. Maybe that roller coaster of emotions is... Is the fact that you don't get any... When you get that 2 out of 100, which which we did the hypergeometric calculator, the 9 lands out of 14 draws, that's the 2 out of 100, like, basically, you know, the one two games out of 100 that are your worst games. And uh, when you have those, in best of 3, you're kind of like, alright, like, that's a bummer, we'll get him next time. Like, 2 out of 100, that's not going to happen again. But you could see the oversized impact of that kind of variance and best of one because we ended up one sh win short of our max wins and we had two of those you know games that should happen very infrequently where we just kind of got the flood out games and it, it wasn't like we had games two and three to make up for it we just lose the match and then end up a win short of max wins because of it so uh, best of one it's a uh, it's interesting that's for sure variance it takes some getting used to magic is a high variance game anyway and for me personally used to playing best of three uh it's a, it's an adjustment to try to get used to the even bigger influence of variants uh, in best of one game so all right the deck was sweet deck was sweet but we can talk about that in the wrap up so what do we learn this week about goblins budget goblins on arena and all in all we ended up somehow with a pretty good performance so we started off losing our first two matches and in the best of one arena tournaments uh we only get three losses and then we're out so we gave up two losses right away starting out 0 two and i was pretty nervous i thought we were gonna scrub out it was gonna be a really short goldfish gladiators but the goblins pulled it together and we won six in a row one away from the max wins of seven before getting that third loss so in the end the performance was actually pretty impressive and when it comes right down to it two of our losses were variance losses uh oh two of the three games we lost were because we just drew an ungodly amount of lands we have 23 lands in our deck and in both of those games we lost we drew nine lands out of 14 cards which we even pulled out the hypergeometric calculator it should happen roughly two percent of the time that that happens so it shouldn't happen all that often but it did happen to us a little bit so uh, that's one of the quirks i guess of best of one mode or arena mode on magic arena is the variance is a real thing and it's something that takes a bit of getting used to and I'll probably do a whole video at some point about arena mode the best of one matches because of its increasing importance but uh, it is a little bit weird to lose an entire match because you have one game where you just run bad and that happens in magic sometimes you just draw nine lands out of 14 cards and it doesn't really matter what your opponent's doing or what deck you're playing uh, you're just not gonna win but the deck itself oh my goodness despite those couple of bad games we had some incredibly explosive turns and I don't want to make it sound like our luck was all bad because we definitely had a couple of games where things looked really grim we had down a vanquisher's banner and we needed multiple goblins to win the game and we would just like draw a goblin war chief into another goblin drawing a vanquisher's banner into another goblin and kill our opponent out of nowhere and that's the biggest I think upside of this deck is it can go 
from having basically no board to just killing the opponent, even from like 10 or 15 life, out of nowhere because of the fast mana of Warchief and of Siege Gang Commander and the card draw Vanquisher's banner. So the deck is super explosive. We get some normal wins where we just kind of curve out and play our one drop, play our two drop, play a Chain Whirler, play a Siege Gang Commander, win the game. But then we also have these pseudo combo goblin wins with Vanquisher's banner. And those games are incredibly fun. And it is just super sweet when we go into combo mode and are able to just play like six goblins and win the game out of nowhere with Vanquisher's banner. So those games are really, really fun. So overall, I was pretty impressed with Goblins. I was nervous with our O2 start, but the deck definitely proved its worst. So if you are looking for a different deck to take into best of one battles, uh, arena mode battles, odd magic arena, and you don't got a ton of wild cards, this seems like a pretty legitimate option. I think it's pretty competitive. And at least for me, it was way more fun than just playing typical mono red or something like that. Uh, because you had the sweet tribal synergies, those crazy explosive turns, you get to do some cool tricks with like Siege Gang Commander and Skirk Prospector sacking stuff. So there's a lot of play to the deck, more so than a typical mono red deck that's just kind of like play a creature attack, play a creature attack, play a burn spell at your face, attack. And that's kind of the whole gameplay. While there are aspects of that in the Goblin deck, there is a lot more going on there as well. So the deck was sweet. The performance after a really sketchy rough start ended up being pretty good as well. One short of seven wins. So anyway... I think that does it for today. That's been Budget Goblins in Best of One on Arena. That's been our Goldfish Gladiators for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.